hello beautiful people you're all welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of visiting this channel you're highly welcome in this channel we'll talk about current and past political news entertainment celebrating personality that has made us proud in interviews politics and lots more now in the news his excellency governor yes on wiki held a media chat where he gave a shocking revelation about the current happening in people's democratic party Wiki always told us during his project commissioning that in due time, Nigerians, I'm going to talk. In due time, Nigerians, I'm going to talk. And I kept saying that, oh, God, no talk. Because this is your talk, eh? It, it, instead of to solve the problem, it is add more wahala. Now, Wiki gave a shocking revelation about the chairman, gave a lot of allegations about corruption, people in the party, so many things. And the same Wiki that told us that, Whoever wins the presidential campaign cancel ticket, he's going to support that person. I understand your grievances, sir. I'm not disputing that. It is normal to have a disagreement, but it is very abnormal for that disagreement to linger to this time. You people are our national leaders. Coming to the public eye to hold it, this kind of a thing is not going to solve the problem. Instead, the media will put salt, sugar, pepper, all to escalate the problem. What is happening with the neck office where people cannot sit down as family to discuss this matter? Guys, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, please do not for forget to like this video, comment, and share to your friends. Let's listen to what he has to say because my the matter carry weight. And let me hear your thoughts at the comment section. Keep watching and don't touch the dial. You, you compound your problems. I take for example, since 1999, we have never won your state. Since 1999. But one of the problem people is from that human state. So what will he give the party? What will he give the party? Who is this person? You know him. My name was he. Since 1999, has PDP won Yobe state? Oh, you want what? Oh, you this one. So what is the natural value now? He will bring to the table. Tell me. Since 1999, we started this democracy. PDP has never won you the state. And then you are going about. We will deal with him. We will sanction him. Meanwhile, we are zero in your state. You, you sanction the person that has given you 100%. You that have bought nothing, you are sanctioning me. Have you, seen, have you seen how this party and this country? Me, I brought something on the table. The man who didn't bring any distinction, the man who brought uh, something. Um, from the onset, yeah. from the picture of the scenario you have painted, yeah. it's been a journey of broken promises, which you are well aware of. Yeah. Yeah. One would want to ask, yeah. why being the presidential aspirants from the south side insist from the onset that we must have zoning? That's what I Especially you. for the fact that the uh, national chairman prior to the uh, convention, was already on the northern axis. That's what I'm trying to tell you, that it's, it's unfortunate. That it's unfortunate when, what you find in the system. It's unfortunate. There's a, what you call an in-house also, uh, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the, the man who may be killing you may be the person for the side you, are, you have. No arm robber comes to your time and inside and give you the information. That you know very well. That you know very well. But for me, it's not even. I say, okay, we are done with that. In fact, look, if I follow, first of all, nobody forced are you to say that if the presidential candidate emerges from the north, I would uh, resign. Nobody forced him, but he knew. That that had been the practice. He knew that that had been the practice. Why would you have come out to a whole country, to a whole party, if this happens? I'm going to do that. And now people are now saying, okay, why not do this thing which you promise? And you may begin to attack individuals. Wicked. Wicked. Was it wicked that told him to go and say that? Was it at the goal point? Right. And, 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 and let me tell you why I said, also, 
Apart from this, Hagu is very corrupt. Very, very corrupt. It's, it's a heavy allegation. No, no, I'm, I'm uh, you're four major television. Listen, yeah. listen, uh, listen. I'm this. not listen, listen. You are talking to the governor of the state. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm talking to the governor of the state. I, I, you see, I, I, I have told you, I have told you, I am totally involved. And because you're a lawyer also. Oh, so, I say, look, yeah, I, I, when you, I, you, you said this kind of thing, listen, you probably have listen, evidence. Listen, listen, I, you have opportunity to challenge me. I will name. I will name. I said, I will name. I told you I was going to speak. Am I not speaking today? We are not even going to that moral, but even God, some of the governors can tell you. Look, will he deny the fact that he did not collect one billion dollars from uh, Lagos? From uh, Lagos? Yes. Who in Lagos? I would let him deny. I will tell him who gave him the money. Lagos? Yeah, Lagos not Lagos, 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 whatever. I'm talking about Lagos, the money was Lagos. given to him. In, in Lagos. Lagos, yes. For what purpose? He met one of the presidential aspirants and told him that he's not sure these governors may want to sponsor the party. Let I you say no. I would even call some of the businessmen and how the money was arranged in Lagos. That money did not enter to the account of PDP. But we're not attacking are you on that basis. We're attacking like, look, this is what we are talking about. So when, when, when Mr. Yeah. Look, when big look, allegations listen, are listen, made, sir, listen. people who want I'm not a governor. Look, look, I'm not an Indian any governor. I'm a serious governor. I'm a very important governor. I can't just come here and begin to say anything. I say, I challenge you mentioned only one. You said he, uh, you made a I just read one. That he took I said, money. let him deny this day. You say more. Well, you have what more. I say? Yes, that's what I said. Uh, I would even mention yeah. from the governor's too. Let, let me ask this question, uh, Mr. Governor. Um, you, you've spoken a lot about. Sorry, so that, so, that, so that I don't forget. So that okay. talking about integrity. About settlement and this. Now, we were invited to a meeting in London by the presidential candidate. We have five governors. Governor of Adanawa. Who is the governor of the presidential candidate? Governor Otom. Governor Shay McKendie. Governor Oka Ibas. And my humble five of us. Senator Laka, who was one who was taking record. The presidential candidate told us, in truth, that he has confronted Ayu on this statement. And I said, yes, he said so. He has to okay, what do we do? I said, no, sir, we're all here. You for not interested to win this election. You didn't pay my flat money to this bill. Why would I spend money to come to uh, uh, London to hold it? Why would I spend such money? But because of the commitment, because we believe this party has to win the election, everything must be done. Sacrifices must be made in order for us to win a election. We said that. And he agreed with us that IU has to go. And what was remaining? He now said, we should give you one week. Let's go work at the modalities of IU. Let Governor Fintri, who is the governor of Adamawa, let him tell Nigeria it is not correct. Let Governor Shahi tell Nigerians is not correct. Let Governor Otton tell Nigerians is not correct. Let Governor Ibazi tell Nigerians it is not correct. This is what we are great. For us to have peace, let's move on. Let bygone be bygone. What is So that while you are doing campaign, you are president candidate, you are DG, not you. Look, it, it, Nigeria is such a complex country. What is that? Now, within that one week, we didn't hear for the presidential candidate again. 
Oh, we're not, oh, they're the constitutional barrier. If he respects us, assuming, do not concede him. If the president can they respect us, what stops him in calling us back? He said, look, I've gone to look at this thing. There are constitutional issues. Even in that meeting, we said, look, bring your lawyers, bring your lawyers, let us see that, walk it uh, out. But he never called us. All he now had on the, uh, oh, you see, there are constitutional issues. That's this. But we forgot that we have constitutional matter. That constitution said you must zone. Now we just see our constitution. Now you are bringing constitutional. Uh, I mean, what kind of? All right. What kind of constitution? Uh, if I may get to my question, I guess we we'll still get to, to what the constitution of the PDP says. Because when speaking with some of the members of your party that were in the meeting for that court, they said, well, this is a moral issue. I think uh, the, the, uh, the chairman of the party has said. But let me ask, the those in your party who believe that as much as you are not happy with what Senator Yocha you have said, I was going to step down should a presidential candidate from the North emerge, that in fact there is much more anger coming that is more than that of Senator Ayu, which is the fact that your relationship with your very good friend, the governor of Sokoto said, I mean, Otambua, and you feel so betrayed by him, and that that is in fact the real reason. I mean, you're speaking to Nigerians today. Can you clarify which is more of anger to you? The anger of your friend Tambua, who you feel betrayed you, or the anger of Senator Ayu? Okay, if I'm angry that he betrayed me, well he did betray you, hold it. First of all, he said, if I'm angry that he betrayed me, what am I gonna do? I mean, <laughs> you, so will you kill yourself that somebody betrayed you? Won't you move on with your life? Have I not been doing my work as governor of uh, River State? If, he, if, if in his conscience, he, if he feels that what he did was right, so be it. If he knows what he did was not right, he should know what to do. I don't even think about it. Frankly speaking, even if you upset me, it's like you lost a child. It can be painful that the body, your life must go on. In this case, a man decided what he wanted to do. He's not my son. Even if he's my son, he's of age to take a decision. And you're taking a decision. Do I go and kill him? I move forward with life. And he's moving on with his uh, life. Did we sign an agreement that we must be like this together? All through our life. I will marry it. <laughs> I don't understand when people talk about it. Hey, anger, no anger. I've loved that. Look, look, one thing you must understand, and if you're not prepared for it, if you want to be a leader, if you want to be a, a politician at Nigeria, you must have what we call a shock observer. If you don't have a shock observer, you will die. You must. At all times, these things happen. So you don't need to begin to put yourself. Except you are not prepared. That's what happened. A leadership. That's what about the leadership. Is it me? These Nigerians who watch it. You, what is your feeling? You, what do you think? You, what do you think? All of you watch it on television. So it is for you to, you know, take your own position, whether you are happy, whether it's right or not. But that is not what we're talking. Whatever has happened, has happened. Would you move the party forward? Why do all this vice presidential candidate this and that? And sometimes when I watch uh, television, I, I just I say, where did they get the stories from? Where did they get it from? Who has ever spoken to me to say, I said, no, I will not forgive them because I didn't get president. I will not forgive them because I didn't get vice presidential candidate. People who are afraid of me around them, they do. I'm a no-nonsense person. I'm a no-nonsense person. I don't, I don't do it because a president can I begin to run around you every day. I won't do that. I have a lot of work to do. Uh, uh, come back, Your Excellency. One of the things that um, confounds the Nigerian voting public is 
the fact that you have a preponderance of governors from the south in the PDP. Yet, it has taken an APC that has fewer, by far fewer, southern governors to take the decision to cause power to shift to the south. How did this happen in your party, despite the fact that you have so many governors from the south? You should praise those of us who stood firm and to say that look, power should shift to the south. People are governor of Enugu State, people are Kandia State, people are West, Shay Makende, Odom contested, you know. Uh, if you're a governor, that's what I can do. Right? You know what to, if, if that is what your people want. But I told them that this is what my people want, and that is why we have to go for it. And you see, like people say, the law for unity of this country. For the unity of this country. Yes, everybody wants how things will be done in such a way that nobody should care where you come from. We'll get to that point. But as it is today, we have not reached that level where you, you don't you undermine these factors. No. And and that is why it is critical to some of us in PDP. I said, do they know do they understand the mistake they are making? If APC as a ruling party can come out categorically and say we are zoning this to the south. And then we in PDP, we have lost it. And then we are saying, okay, appealing to you so that we peace everywhere. We can have something to talk to our people. Give us back, chairman. You are still saying no. What message are we sending? We, we have accepted our faith by making sure the party candidate he has emerged, he has emerged. And we say, look, for whatever way, it is. Let us do this so that peace will reign and let's move on. And people are still trying to show that they determine what will happen in this country by the mere fact that whatever they say is what will happen. And people are going to say, come on, I'm not a slave. No way. No, no way. We must do the right thing. We must show Nigerians this is where we are coming to. And you have been arrogant about it. Why are you arrogant about it? It is you it's all of you to face the facts. Every day you go and pay money to some media people. Uh, we can do this, we can do that, we can do this, we can do that. Is we can go to be chairman of the party? <laughs> no, uh, Governor, uh, let me quickly ask you this here. Yeah. Uh, during the commissioning in Havada uh, campus of the River State University, yeah. you said something. What did I say? You said that you know the reason why the article camp are doing what they are doing. Yeah. And you made a problem, just yeah. like you said. You said you're going to talk. Look, okay. you're talking. I know where you're going to. Said you, you, said, yeah, you know where you're going to. You said you... Let me check you. <laughs> you, you know my question. I, yes, you've already you, said I mean, You said you know the reason why... If you're a good student, the mere fact you make the introduction, I know where you're heading to. So you don't need to put that. So let me just say that. Because I said, they believe that the presidency is supporting them. I said, they believe that President Buhari is supporting them. Nah, presidency is not a uh, Buhari. Someone in the presidency. Yes. Presidency is not a uh, Buhari. Well, Buhari is the head of uh, the presidency. And like I said, we are, we are coming, small, small. That the time you, you reveal one, that the time you said you're one, you don't say everything one day. You see, you, you, you tell Nigeria for today, this is what you're telling them. Another time we tell Nigeria, see, this is what you're Look, no party that wants to win a election that can be arrogant like this. No party that is ready to take over power from APC. 
You know, yeah, this is not like PDP. NPC is, is something else. I have, look, how many of them have the federal government invaded in election the way they invaded the state? How many of them have this? So I know what APC can do. So as an opposition party, who is trying to deal with the people, have the sympathy of the people, you must also have to show humility. Show, look, we are humble. We are ready to tackle the issues of this country. And to show that, see what you have done. See what you have done. See what you are going to do. Look, development alone is not the only problem Nigeria has. Insecurity alone is not the only problem Nigeria has. Part of our problem is non-inclusivity of people. Certain sectors believing that they have been uh, marginalized. Whether you like it or not, you must show that you have the capacity to bring everybody together. And to show that capacity, I have started it. How did I start it? I know by our party convention. I know by our party, this is the custom. This is the culture of our party. This is where we have done our things. And now we are boxing to something. I have that capacity to resolve it. Gentlemen, let's not talk about law. Let's talk about political expedience in order to win election. do that and you can't kind of arrogant you pay for it your, your excellency you have quite not answered the question that i was no, asking I told you, no. now you said just a moment sir you said that there is a belief oh. that some people in, in the president. presidency yes uh, some people are had them. some persons in the presidency yeah, yeah. are supporting them and yeah. they believe that the power will return to the north and that's why they have the confidence mm. and you imagine that uh, the President Buhari is from the north and Mr. Atiku Abubakar is also from the north. What do you make of that scenario? If you think that some people in the presidency are working with that the Atiku... not thinking of President Buhari. Mind you too, you have heard of so many things in the presidency which sometimes the president may not... Uh, yeah, no. Mind you, remember under the APC primary you heard that it was the presidency that brought uh, Ahmed. Uh, no. You heard so. But you also had one person said, no, everybody go to the uh, go to the feed. They began to die. But I thought they said it was uh, the president. That's why I say they believe. They believe. That belief, that belief, they believe may have turned out to be correct. <laughs> That's the point that I Since uh, that, that, you see, you see, you see, look, 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 in power, let me tell you, there are those who are close to me. Do you understand me? There are those who are close to me. Somebody who's close to me, no, this is what I'm going to do. Meanwhile, that such a discussion has not taken the place. Yes. And if you believe that person, how close he is to me, there's a likelihood you may be tempted to agree that yes, this is correct. And two, certain steps too, the person may show you, which will also make you believe the more that it is correct. Until finally, it does on you that all I'm saying is not correct too. So that's the point I'm trying to, to make. But why you should know is that can an opposition party who really wants to take over power allow itself for things that do not that look for peace sake to resolve issue. We begin to say that we won't do it. Because we run to consumer cases. And I, I was I, in fact when I read the text by the candidate, rule of law. Who has violated the rule of law now? 
who, who have violated section 73C of the PDP constitution? Why did we just a whole our own constitution? Then we're not talking about rule of law. That our government will be anchored based on rule of uh, law. Then we are not passing the rule of law. But following section 73C, if we had followed section 73C, would you have come to this issue of talking about if China resigns, yeah, this will happen, that will not happen. You purposely did what you did in order to suit you. Now you have run into stormy uh, water. And then you are saying constitutionalism, remove that. No. Your but Excellency. We will not accept that at all. At all. If the law of expediency yes. does not hold sway. Sorry, if what? If, if the law of expediency, like you mentioned, does not suffice, will you still don't remain. Be, don't be pessimistic. I, I, I don't mean to. I, I'm not a pessimist. So I don't say if. If. Okay. If. I like you to get to that. Uh, no, we are, we're almost there, sir. No, we're, That's why we are here. Are you, are you preaching for peace for us all? You want for course, us to, to divide? We want, we want peace okay. for yeah. progress and development of this okay, nation. Well, let me tell you Just in the event that you, this yes. man does not I honor his you, word, I told, where do we go from I here? I told you this yesterday. Yes, that you remain? I, I said I will remain in peace. Mm. The fight for inclusivity must be in the party. And I will remain there to fight for it. I'm not a man who sits fat and runs away. Your Excellency, there's a suggestion that the PDP can actually do without River State or River State votes. That after all, President Buhari became president in 2015. He didn't win River State. President Buhari became president in 2019. He didn't need River State vote. And they are advancing the same argument that Atiku could become president of Nigeria Without reverse it, what you said. If God decides that will be, be in spite if, of you. If God decides that he will be president, that not anybody can uh, do. But for us as uh, as men, we don't know what God is thinking. But as men, anybody advising Atiku that is a wicked man to Atiku. And I know those who are doing it. How so? No, let me tell you. I know those who are doing it. They don't have electoral value in their own units. Some of them are from Edo. Let me tell you something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, let me tell you. Look at their calculation. I took the new university, I mean, uh, the new university, but what do one Lagos and Kando? That's right. Right? Does Atiku have Lagos now? Does he have Kando? The only one he has always had is the rivers. And he said he don't want them. So he has zero by three. He has not said it doesn't. No, 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 no. That, he said, he said that he, you asked this question. That's from Atiku's camp. And these are people who don't have electoral value. If anybody has electoral value, why would he even opine that? Why would he even say such a thing? They don't okay. Take for example. A president of Nigeria that does not have a governor of a state of rivers, does not have governor of Lagos, does not have governor of uh, Kano. You, did that president be comfortable? No, tell me that president will be comfortable. That also tells you what do they have in mind about stability of Nigeria? Do they really want Nigeria to stabilize? So I I I don't think I don't think that Atiku, the, the candidate of the party, will will listen. So those kind of suggestions, political irrelevance. I call them political irrelevance. I call them so. Because I can be proud to say, since 1999, River State has always been a PDP. In 2015, we won. Remember, there was a serving governor here who was the DG of Buhari's campaign. He didn't get to five percent in 2019, he was a minister. He was a DG. He did not get to 5% here. He, he, he didn't just say to you think that we are just like that. Someone, look, do it. Let those political pundits carry out the action. Let them carry out the action they want to carry. Ignore River State. Ignore Lagos. Ignore Canada. They are not important. 
the argument is that it is not the people of River State or River State voters who are members of the PDP that are involved in this, that it is you as a person. I let them wait for them. Why not do it? I don't have a wife to talk to. I don't have my son. He's a registered voter. I have my father, so I can't talk to my father. I don't have my friends to preach to them. Well, I mean, we see, when is the people who are not politicians, they don't talk anyhow. No reasonable politician will make that kind of statement. A sitting governor, not that just a governor, a governor that has performed to beyond expectation. You and she came to the university, right? Don't happen. <laughs> no, I mean, look, what brings the vote? I'll go to every local government and say, this is why you must vote for us. Because I have done this in this local government. Because I have done this in this local government. Because I have done this in this local government. 23 local government, not one will escape me. Not one. Because the, the, the facts are there. I have fought for even state interests. Yeah. They know I'm not that kind of governor that will sell their interests. I'm just wondering the kind of difficult task you have uh, put yourself in. Because you are not leaving the PDP. Yet you are dissatisfied with the PDP. And I'm wondering what kind of messages you will be preaching when you are campaigning. Okay, I'm angry with the PDP. Don't vote for this are particular you in person. Are in the our PDP? Campaign, council, campaign committee, leave us to strategize. You see, look, 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 look. The way I talk to you journalists is not the way I talk to other people. Look. Every people, all people have their own audience. Whichever audience. They want to call family meetings. They want to call age. Uh, age age grade. Grade. <laughs> they, they want to call born again people. So forget the one you hear where you see everybody in the field. It's different from the other campaign. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. If this is your first time here, please click on that red button and hit on the notification bell for more of my videos coming. We'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.